Hey guys, SilentCL here. Welcome to a brand new series of the Nonary Games. I'm sure you guys probably have heard this somewhere uh, out there. If you guys are interested interested in like um, locked door mysteries um, and murder mystery titles out there. So this game isn't exactly new. Uh, it has been on my radar for a very long time. If you guys know me very well, I'm a very big fan of mysteries. Um, but I'm not too sure I've ever... Um, enjoyed gory content um, as video games but you know still let's dive into it I mean this game is technically kind of like Saw kinda I don't know I I haven't really played this myself before so this is going to be a brand new experience for me um, I have watched the story for this game years ago but I've completely forgotten how it is so Definitely looking forward towards experiencing this myself. And mm, we have some kind of introduction to this um, particular title. So the triple nine. Okay. I hope the music isn't going to cause me some copyright issues. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, we get to see all the different characters. Okay, so I guess this is the bad guy. So everyone seems to be wearing a wristwatch of some kind. Oh. So this game does kind of give off a bit of a Dungan Ropan vibe, kind of. Alright, so it's time to begin our journey to our doom. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Let's begin. A loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. Oh, we have some Japanese voice acting. Cool. That was a bit too fast for me to read. <laughs> okay. We have a crack Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself Gra groping at the empty air? His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what's going on. Junpei tumbled down to the cold grey floor. Mm. 
なんだこの音あれは5五ってなんだよ開かないかなんだこれこの装置が扉のロックを制御してるってことかおい誰か誰かいないのか開けてくれオッケー、そう、ファーストオフ、ディメニューオーディスクリーンスタイル、kind of feels a bit like、um, something out of、oh、オーケー、そう、it's a visual novel style kind of game、something like、um, uh, Gakuten Saiban of、uh, Phoenix、right? If you guys are familiar with the English title of Gakuten Saiban、um,、and yeah、it kind of feels a bit Like a Game Boy Advance style of game, kind of. So we get to read back the entire text if you missed out on the text.、Um, that is, if you want to, but no, we don't have to. <laughs> so let's get on with the story.、Uh, I do get the sense of a bit of a saw vibe as well from this game. What is this? Uthe Doke. じゃないよな。こう。同じだ。な、な、これ。どうやって外すんだ。この横に出っ張ってんの。こいつを押せばいいのか。くそ、あ、もうがない。な、腕から無理やり引っこ抜くしかないか。全然抜けないたく何なんだよこの腕はわここは一体どこなんだなんで俺はこんなところにいるなぜだなぜ一体何があったっていうんだあいあバカあこの窓これってまさかここは船の中なのか暗くて何も見えねえなせめて外の様子が分かればいいんだがえおいマジかよ何なんだよこれはあっ何なんだよこれはいたら返事をしてくれ水がもうこんなところにまでまずいいぞとにかくどうにかしてこの部屋を出ないとあいがとせいでグラフィックスはこのゲームいぶんどいぶんバックデータいつぶりぐい Like the water effects, the 3D style of rotation. Oh, that is, that is actually still pretty good considering how old this game is. <laughs> so, oh yeah, we gotta try and get Junpei out of this、um, flooding room. I, I hope the boat doesn't sink with this much water <laughs> inside the cabin. Okay, so,、um, is that supposed to be a camera? Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal is to search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape.、Um, use the cursor to select a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use L or R1、um, to walk around the room. Left stick controls. Move the left stick during the, an escape to use the cursor. Press square to speed up the movement. Press X to search where the cursor is placed. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 4, so... Alright, let's check out this thing about items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Pressing triangle will take you to the item screen. Okay, note from the bulletin board. Um, what are all these triangles and that two colored shading arrow? Oh, okay, we can rotate. So this does feel a bit like Gakuten Saiban, where you actually search or research the um, the clues that you've gotten. So that's okay. Investigate with an item. Uh, the item vi visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Ah, okay. So if you hold certain items and you touch certain things, certain reactions will happen. Interesting. Okay, um, press up to quickly change between items. Okay. There's nothing on the frame. There's screws keeping... Oh! So we have to unscrew the picture frame. Okay. Suitcase? What's with the suitcase? No dice, it's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Oh! So we need a password. Anything inside here? This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to... What? Sure wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. <laughs> oh, there's a screwdriver. Cool. Okay, we need the screwdriver. Um... Combine, if the two items can be combined, you'll receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations. So... So yeah, I need to combine this with the picture frame. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, it's a code! Oh, okay, so... Okay, so the red and blue triangles are a code. How do I rotate this properly? <laughs> Playing this with a, a controller is not easy. Okay, um, so the first number is 7. 7, 4, 7, 4, 6, uh, 7, 4, 6, 3. Okay, so that's our code. But is that the code for the 7, 4, 6, 3? How do I change the code? I keep press pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, you need a key! Oh god. Oh, here's another suitcase. I need a key. Where do I find a key? Oh, I got a blue key! Alright, we got a blue key. Blue key, is it supposed to open something else? Blue, I mean, obviously it's the blue suitcase. There we go. Mini games, during an escape, your investigation may trigger one of the several mini games. All operations for mini games are done by using the joystick on the left and X. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or touch the right thing. Operation instructions touching the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Enter four numbers this way and then touch the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. Um. So it was 7423, right? It was not right. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it. Okay. Make me feel what? 
<laughs> not gonna happen though. All right, Jinfei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. So apparently the lock, I mean the, the numbers that I have on hand. I really gotta stop pressing the wrong thing. So I mean it's red and blue. Is is there is there a different is there a different code? I mean, I have a feeling like we're missing one more piece of paper. Okay, maybe let's check the upper bits. Okay. What about this thing at the door? Oh, it's a different room. We got a red key. Obviously, man. Oh. Maybe you got drunk? Maybe Okay, we're getting some bit of a backstory before the whole lock room scenario. Oh,変だな。窓なんて開けたっけ。うん。別におかしなとこはないよな。やっぱりただの指名忘れか。な。誰だお前。うん。けっ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。俺はロバルタだ。
Um, let's see, zero and two, then followed by six and three. Zero, two, and three. Wait, zero, two, six, three. Yeah, that's our code for the blue case. So let's go do this. All right, zero. Zero, two. Six and three. There we go. Yeah, it's open. What's inside? What is this? File? If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file. Okay. Press the right button to open the file screen. Digital root. What? First, add all the numbers in question to another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, the digits. What? Add the digits to one another. What? If you end up with something greater than a single digit? Oh, so if I get 10, I, I add 1 to 0? Okay, that's pretty interesting. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. The X, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 would be... Uh, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Okay. Nice of them to give them a give us an example. Therefore the digital root of six seven eight is three. Okay. Um uh, one Hey I got it! <laughs> Alright. Looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, a calculator. And a stack of key cards, huh? Uh, it has a six on it. So, does this open specific doors with the numbers on them? New material has been added to the file screen. Press left to open the calculator screen. Calc the calculator can also act. What? Calculate a digital root which will be important to the progression of the story. Really? Oh, you can just enter the entire thing? Oh! And it does it for you. Cool. Okay, so we do need to see um, the passcode for the red one. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to have to change this. Okay, so the red one is 7... Seven four, uh, seven four eight five. Seven four eight five. Okay. God dang it. Seven four eight five. Can I can I stick the red key in? Thank you. Yeah, you just have to have the key in there to put in the number. Oh wait, 7... 4... 8... 5... There we go. Alright! Let's see what's inside. It's more key cards. Okay. Um, there's a number on each one. One, two, three. Okay. Six, seven, eight. So they are roots, right? Six, seven, eight. So let's see. Um, wait, no, no, no. calculator. Six seven eight digital root is three. Uh, 
one, two, no, one, two, three, digital road is six. Okay, so what do we do with these key cards? Okay, I'm a bit confused here. Do we slide the cards in? Huh? It's not working? Oh! We have hints? Oh, the files, okay. Oh, we have to check out the files. Digital root of 5? Okay, interesting. Uh, I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of 5 through the reader. Use L and X to select three cards. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Selecting reset will deselect all current selected cards. After you select the three cards, use L and X to select the device. Oh, so digital root of five. Okay, that's interesting. So, let's see. Um, so we're gonna add everything up together. Uh, 6 and 7 gives you 13, 13, um, 13, 13, huh, so 13 basically is 1 plus 3, so that's 4, okay, um, so we have to make 14, so 6, 7, 1, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Alright, I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's a new noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? Oh, the light was red and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's something keeping me in here now. Oh, nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go! Back. Open door. Awesome! The water is gushing out of the room. <laughs> I have to say the um the artwork for the background is pretty good <laughs> considering how old this game is. Fancy kind of reminds me of the Titanic. そうだよな。やっぱりここは船の。で、ちょっと待て。巨大な水の塊が押し寄せてきている。逃げないと。死でけ。死でけ。<笑> 
Oh, we meet new characters. So there's seven of them. Oh, we get mouth action. Cool. Okay, the animation is pretty simple, but it's pretty decent. Oh, her voice is very familiar. His voice is familiar too. Do they actually have famous voice actors in this series? こっちの扉にはこう同じだ。俺が閉じ込められてた部屋に同じように数字の書かれた扉があったんだ。そうか、君の部屋も。私がいた部屋も同じだ。ドアに数字が記されていた。それを開いて通路を抜け、この大階段
Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl too stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she, she'd seen him before as well. Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly toward her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in by in place by some sort of magical spell. As Junpei stepped onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. The quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her, or so he thought. Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own. He was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Junpei? Junpei? Her words echoed through Junpei's head and suddenly his memory returned. What? Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They had gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. Could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. He could feel his face heating up. At that moment, oh, we're getting English dialogue. Strange. Why was that in English? Okay, strange. It's back to Japanese. <laughs> What's going on with this game? So there are repeaters in this game? Interesting. So, um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this series called Guns. Um, if you guys are fans of the uh, Guns manga or the anime or the live action um, movies, you will probably know that there have been similar plot ideas like this in other series such as this, um, where players come back even though the games are life threatening. So, we have not seen a return player in the Saw franchise. I think I think I I've, I don't really keep up with the Saw franchise, but. From what I know of, I don't think there's a returning player in the Saw franchise. Hmm. What are you Oi. Pocket to Ninaka Hyperzo. 
俺もだどうやらゼロは全員に同じ手紙を配ったようだな君読んでみてくれないか船内には数字の書かれた扉が何枚かあるこれをナンバリングドアという今諸君らの目の前にあるのがまさにそれだナンバリングドアを開くには各自に割り振られたバングルナンバーが鍵となるバングルナンバーの合計数その数字根が扉に書かれた数と一致した場合のみそれは開く扉を開いた者だけがその先へと進めるただし人数制限があるナンバリングドアを開くことができるのは3人から5人までだ Okay, so they just laid out the rules of the entire game, technically. <laughs> so, um, that first locked room with the flooding of Junpei's room basically was a tutorial portion. And the digital route is basically the key to this entire game. So, they did just make it a bit more complex by having only, um, Three to five numbers available for usage per puzzle. So there are nine people basically. So this will be a bit difficult if you want to keep all nine people alive. It's going to be a problem.、Um, especially when you know certain digital root numbers only allow a certain amount of players to go through a door. So this is going to get interesting. その先へと進めるのも同じ人数となるバングルってのはこの腕輪のことかゲームの目的はあえて言うまでもないだろうこの船から生きて脱出すること脱出するための出口は船内のどこかに隠されている探したまえ「Q」と書かれた扉がそれだ I see. So the ship did look like the Titanic ship.、Um, if you guys have watched the live action movie. Um, so, yeah. Does the the dates mean anything? Because I have a feeling that we might end up using the dates April 14th, 1912. Hmm. <laughs> ののの音音階段ベッドの部屋。窓の向こうは真っ暗で何も見えなかっただから今が夜であることは間違いないと思うだとするとタイムリミットは明日の午前6時ということになるな。
リーゲーム何のためにそんなことを愉快犯的なものなのかそれとも何か別の目的があるのかそもそもどうしてそんなわけのわからないゲームに俺が選ばれたんだ他のやつらもそうだこの8人が選ばれた理由は何だそして何よりもどうして茜が茜とは小学校を卒業して以来一度も会っていないその茜がどうしてこんなところにいる偶然なんてことはありえない彼女がここにいる意味がとにかくこのままじっとしていても仕方がない動こう動くナンバリングドアを開くつもりですかちょちょっと待ちなさいよあのゼロとかってやつの言ったことに従うつもり違うそうじゃない別の道を探しに行こうと言ってるんだまだ調べてない場所が残ってるだろ調べてない場所まだ調べていない場所か俺以外のみんなは A デッキを調べてきたんだよなああ焦ってたんで隅々まで完璧にとは言えないかもしれないがなだったら先に下のフロアから調べてみようどこまで行けるかまずは降りられるところまで降りてみるのがいいと思う意義なしだでは行ってみるとしよう何よこれ完全に水没しちゃってるじゃないのおいおいこのままどんどん水かさが上がってきて全員仲良く敵視なんてのはごめんだぞいや今のところその心配はなさそうだよほら水が流れていないということはどこかでせき止められているんじゃないかなもしかしたらあのゼロってやつが遠隔操作か何かで水密扉を閉めたのかもしれないタイムリミットは9時間ゼロはそう言っていたならば逆に言うと9時間は持ちこたえるということにそれまでは沈まないっていうのかあくまでも希望的観測だよそうであってくれたらと願ってるのさち嫌な話ださしかしここから先に進めないとなると我々の動ける範囲は A デッキから C デッキまでということになるなみたいだな結論を出す前に残りの C デッキも調べてみようぜもしだなとりあえず目立つのは大階段の正面にある鉄の扉か2枚とも数字は書かれてないのね認証装置らしきものもついてないみたいダメね鍵がかかってるこっちもだくそどこもかしこも開きやがるねおいこっちだ階段の裏手にも一枚あったぞここも開かないかこうなりゃおよっさん手伝力ずくというわけかやってみようてやれダメかちょっといきなり暴れないでよびっくりするでしょすまん<笑>マウンテン has a soft spot for the ladies しかし2人がかりで体当たりしてびくともしないとは相当に頑丈な作りのようだなバカね考える前に筋肉だよりなんてほらよく見てみなさいよのそう他の扉と違ってここは開く方法が分かってるんだから鍵ね何か文句でもいやただそう簡単に鍵が見つかるのかと思っただけだなんだこれ妙
うなマークがついてるな何か意味があるのかねえこっち後ろの方も見てよあこっちも扉か扉っていうかエレベーターだよねこれ横に逆三角形のボタンがついてるし Oh no, are we gonna have to travel back on back and forward front? <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to travel through the entire shit to solve puzzles. Oh, goodness gracious me. ここにも妙なマークがあるな。何なんだろうな、これ。小文字の H の縦棒にマイナスを加えたみたいな記号だが。土星のマークですね。生成術の中で使われるシンボルみたいなものです。じゃあ、さっきの扉にあったのは。あれは太陽のマークだと思います。星のシンボルは。A デッキにもあったよねそんなもんあったか記憶にないわね A デッキか俺はまだ行ったことがないからなせっかくだもう一度しっかりと調べに行こうじゃないかほらあの階段の両脇に設置された二枚の扉左側の方にだけ鍵穴がついてるんだけどそのすぐ上のところに印がついてるのあ本当ださっきのやつとどことなく似てるこれは地球のマークです横の棒は赤道縦の棒は四五線を表していますうんああの天井パンかまるで蓋をするみたいに打ち付けられてるなおそらく元はドーム型の天窓でもあったのだろうあそこから出られたらいいのにね現実を見ろよ爆薬でも仕掛けない限りぶち破ることは不可能だぞ窓も同じかどれも鉄板で塞がれてるつまりハッポ塞がりってことか正確には3フロアあるから24歩塞がりだよ上下を加えれば26歩塞がりだないややはり24歩塞がりだよ2つの道はまだ残ってるんだからね数字の書かれた扉ね,ねえちょっと待ってよさっきも似たようなこと言ったけど私は反対よあのドアを開くなんてバカげてるわそれこそ犯人のゼロの思うツボじゃない俺は賛成だいつまでもここにいるわけにもいかないしなそうだな私も賛成だ私は絶対に反対よとりあえず進んでみるべきなんじゃないの何が起きるかわからないしここにとどまるべきよそんな時間がどこにあるんだよ8時間30分後にこの船は海の底へと沈むんだぞなあちょっといいか進むかとどまるかを決める前にやっておくべきことがあると思うんだやっておくべきこと情報交換だよ俺たちはまだお互いのことを何も分かってない知りたいんだあんたたちが何者なのかどこの誰でなんでこんなところにいるのか気になるだろ他のみんなだって私も賛成です純平君の言う通りだと思います純平あ,あごめんなさいこ,この人のことです私たち幼なじみなんです Okay, so there's something I need to clarify here before we move on. So, if you guys have been reading the English、um, text for their dialogues, you'll notice that Akane calls 
Junpei Jum, Jumpy. Um, that isn't the case when it came to the Japanese voice acting. Um, basically, Akane just calls him Junpei. Um, but yeah, they are childhood friends, uh, Osana Jimmy. So basically, Akane doesn't give him a nickname in Japanese dialogue. It only occurs in the English dialogue itself. So let's just be clear on this fact. まずいんですか。まずいに決まってんだろうが。セロが俺たちのことを監視してるはずだ。奴に聞かれたらどうする。聞かれたらまずいんですか。まずいに決まってんだろうが。セロが俺たちのことを知ってるとは限らない。ウ
これで俺を含めて8人のバングルナンバーが判明したことになるのかあとは Yeah, the old man. So, um, before we move on, there's something else we need to clarify.、Um, Akane's nickname in Japanese is Murasaki.、Um, if you guys know your colors very well,、um, basically, Junpei saved Akane by not having her reveal her real name.、Um, and he basically gave her a nickname based on her number, which was、um, six. And Murasaki in Japanese is actually purple, which is the color of her sweatshirt. <laughs> so,、um, yeah, the English translation for Akane's nickname is off real as compared to the Japanese dialogue. So, yeah. <laughs> ああ。どうして君たちと一緒に行動するつもりはないからだよ。うん、これは非常に難しい。何か考えでもあるっていうの？ホールさん。どんな考えが？お、教えてほしいかい？うん、わかった。それじゃあ教えてあげよう。What in the world? Holy shit! So, 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 ヨツバ、大丈夫かい。一体何の真似だ。だから、だから言っただろう。これが僕の考えだ。そいつをどうするつもりだ。安心しろ。どうもしやしないさ。素直に言うことを聞いてくれれば、すぐに解放してやる。ゆっくりだ。そ、そう、僕に合わせて動くんだ。こ、ここだ。認証しろ。左だ。左を見ろ。壁に装置がついてるだろうその装置のスキャナーパネル円盤のところに手のひらを乗せるんだ Wait Why does he know what to do? Is he the repeated player? 断ったら君状況が分かっていないようだね。なんなら今すぐ君の喉をかっさばいたっていいんだよ。僕は何も困りはしない。僕が必要としているのは君のバングルだけなんだからね。ほら、さっさとしろ。分かった。分かったから。そうそういうことあの装置の円盤部分確かそ
スラナー・パメルとか言っていたかおそらくあれに手のひらを乗せることによってバングルナンバーが入力される仕組みになってるんだだとするとバングルナンバーの合計数その数字根が扉に書かれた数と一致した場合のみそれは開く5音扉かしかしどうしてあの男は装置の仕組みについて知っているんだ Exactly my friend It's all elementary お前だったよなバングルナンバー一番のやつはああそうだがだだ,だったら次はお前だこのガキと同じように認証を何をしてるガサガサするなこ,こ,こいつらどうなってもいいのかわかったよ落ち着け行くぞさあ認証をあああこうだなこれで装置には四つは四の一には一が入力されたことになる四足す一イコール五扉に書き殴られている数字と同じそれだけでは扉は開かないはずナンバリングドアを開くことができるのは3人から5人未までだあと1人うーん So basically they've got 5 now and the guy's number is 9 So 9 plus 5 is 14 14 is basically 1 plus 4 so it's 5誰なんだ<笑>まさか四つの四と一や一四足す一足す九イコール十四十四数字コンマ一足す四イコール五つまり<笑>のいい連中ばかりで助かったよこれでどうにか命拾いすることができそうだよよしお,お前ももう用済みだ Yeah this guy has completely forgotten the rules What's gonna happen to this fella? Alright, guys, I am going to end this episode here. Yes, it's a cliffhanger. I'm just gonna make things a bit exciting for you guys so that you can come back and see what happens next. I am very curious to find out what is going to happen to this, this fella that we have no names、um, to call him by. 
So yeah, apparently he has not realized that he has missed out on a particular rule that all who has scanned for this room to unlock has to go into the room. Oh, so I've got a very bad feeling about this outcome. <laughs> so anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of um, the Nonary Games the triple nine series apparently this disc has two games of the nonary series so that's pretty exciting two games for the price of one really totally worth the money <laughs> i didn't expect that so yeah it's a very old series but i'm enjoying it so far i really like all these um thriller type mystery games um it is a bit on the old school style of uh, visual novels type of play um, but you guys know that I'm a pretty big fan of the Gakuten Saiban series as well. I plan to get back on that series eventually. Because um, the last time that I played it, it was still on the 3DS series, um, 3DS machine. So technically, I don't really have good recordings of that series. So finally that the game is on the Switch. Um, eventually, I will get back on it. Um, even though I did do uh, episode 1 on the... Uh, Gakuten Saiban 1, um, the original games uh, on the Nintendo Switch. We do have the 1, 2, 3 pack though. So that is something I'm looking forward to get back into. And of course, let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts about the characters and the story so far for the first episode of the Nonori games, um, the 9 Doors, um, Triple Nine series. If you're excited for it. Let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed yourself tremendously and looking forward to see what happens to this old dude. Um, look forward to the next episode. Make sure you subscribe to check out when the next episode comes out and hit the like button to let me know if you have totally enjoyed yourself and you're anticipating for the, that review in the next episode. Until then guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode. I'll see you guys soon behind the next door. Until then, Bye.